Hey everybody, what's happening? Good morning and welcome to the show. It's F you. What is it? It's F-U. um Hey now. Wednesday? Oh, yeah. I was going to say it's Monday. Man, it's Wednesday. We have a big show for you today. As a matter of fact, Bernie Mac's going to stop by. Uh, Sharon Osborne with the kids, Jack and Kelly. Hey, now. And uh, evil Dave Letterman is here. David Letterman. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Artie, give me a test. Testing one, two. Let me see. Hear that again. Testing one, two. <laughs> Give me testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Yay! Hey, now. It's official. Hey, now. Wow. There you go. Evil Dave, let me hear testing. Good morning. Testing. Testing one, two, one, two. <laughs> testing. We're in CBS testing. Uh, can anyone wow. here uh, suggest a good pointy vegetable I can use uh, when I want to enjoy uh, anal by myself? <laughs> Dave Letterman is here, and he's funnier on our show than he is on his own show. Wow. He's the best. How are you, buddy? How are you, pal? Yeah, I'm pretty good. You know, I just I was just thinking about this the other day, Howard. Do you know what a bad scene is? A bad scene? A bad scene, yeah. What's a bad scene? It's getting discovered by your parents uh, while having sex. You know, I remember when I was, when I was 15. Imagine uh, you're in the middle of having sex with a mailman, and your mom walks in. <laughs> and, and it ain't prom night, I'm telling you that. Evil Dave is definitely here, and he's, queer, he's here, he's queer, and he's proud. If he talked like this all the time, he would be the king of late night. Oh, yeah. Sure. You're the king of late night, Dave yeah. Letterman. Uh, hey, thanks for doing our show. I know that you're a big shot now. Oh, yeah, right. By the way, does anybody have uh, Donny Osmond's phone number? I heard that his wife, uh, you know, doesn't give him moral. And I want to tell you... You know, if she isn't uh, up to the task, then by God I am. I, I think he's the hottest Mormon I've ever seen. And you can quote me on that. I will quote you on that. Yeah. I'm sure page Somebody six will quote you. give him a call. Oh, man. Dave's with us. Everybody loves that. You know, Howard, I, I can't I can't wait for that uh, that cabbie John fight. I, I don't really care for that. Go cabbie! <laughs> okay, you're a cabbie guy. There you go. You want to see that? That's right. Those boys in turbans, we need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, listen, uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Evil Dave will be with us all morning. Uh, it's you know, just the most know, evil thing. Yeah, Dave. I just wondered how much it costs to talk to, you know, a dead person for the first three minutes. <laughs> right. Dave Letterman with us, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And does it go out, down after that? Uh, who's a lot more raw on this show than he is on his own. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. I appreciate you here. By the way, did anybody uh, smell that gas or I just cut? Talk about hot buttered ass. Whew, man, I feel like brushing my teeth. <laughs> Got some hot buttered ass going over there, Dave. There you go, buddy. All right, buddy. You should talk like that. Buddy, you should talk like that on your show. Okay, Stop buddy? It. Buddy. Yeah. What is this buddy business? By the it's way, Robert, buddy. are you wearing uh, space pants for those space pants you got on? Uh, what are space pants? I don't know, because your ass is out of this world. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Dave coming on to Robin. Oh, I need space an intern, pants. Robin. <laughs> space pants. Because your ass is out of this world. Oh, and Bill Clinton, we need interns. <laughs> all right, listen, um, Dave, you doing all right over there? Uh, I'm feeling good. I have a question. Which is more yellow, Casey's urine-soaked bed sheets or uh, Kristen uh, Dunn's uh, teeth in uh, Spider-Man? <laughs> Ow, bam, bam. Wow, fake excitement. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, oh, Evil yeah. Dave. I like to see that guy hail a cab. Moves like a lumbering ape. All right, let's go to, uh, speaking of lumbering apes like KC, uh, Dave, as long as you bring it up, Dave Letterman joined us this morning. Yeah. Howard, can I say something? Yeah, you better, man. This, this guy is turning me on. <laughs> I, I'm so horny, I just want to rub a piece of uh, raw New York strip steak on my ass and let a hungry <laughs> dog lick me for about a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hardy, I like your movies. You, you do a good job in oh, movies. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I, when I can't sleep, I watch Dirty Work. It's better than Valium and Vodka Cocktail. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, Evil Dave, you come in. You and this guy, you know? <laughs> Godfather 4. hope that guy doesn't put a contract out on me. By the way, Howard, how much do you think it would cost me to hire Morgan Freeman as my chauffeur? What do you mean? Just to get away from that guy. Dave Letterman is here with us. He's more yeah. outrageous on this show than any other show. Dave, never tell somebody i got to get a chauffeur. The that guy's got a contract out on me. <laughs> All right, we're going to be back right after these words. This is... 
The Howard Stern Show. That's evil day. You know, I'd like to do something like a segment like that on my show. Uh, something called, you know, Black Celebrity Shoe Shine. Uh, every night uh, during the the monologue, I'll have a, a different black Hollywood actor come out and shine my shoes. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, LL Cool, J. Allen uh, Iverson, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> what do you think? I, think, I, I don't think it'd be as good as this, but you know. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you who's a great comedian. Uh, thank you, Dave Levin. Well, I'll tell you, I'd like to hear him make those calls. <laughs> Me too. I want to hear LL Cool. Yeah. Bernie Jay Mac. Jay Allen Iverson. <laughs> yeah, LL Cool and Jay Allen Iverson. Yeah. Uh, you know Dave Letterman? Do you want to say yeah. something, Dave? I just want to ask uh, Mr. Mack a question. Yeah. First of all, I just want to let you know, uh, Bernie, that I, I donate generously to the uh, NAACP. <laughs> but uh, you, you, you've been on Oprah's show? <laughs> yes. I'm trying to get on What's that show. Yeah. 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 All right, Dave, thank you. You have to quiet down to my Why don't you hit Dave, uh, Bernie with that suggestion about the shoe shines? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, better, you better move on. You better move on. That's right. <laughs> let, me, let me just say, I think Bill Cosby does a great job on those Jell-O pudding pops. you got to give him credit for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. What is it, Dave? I ain't gonna walk to let go get, get it. Straight now, uh, let me get the straight on the foursome. It was uh, it was Robert Blake, Robert Blake, Osama bin Laden, you and uh -huh. okay. L.J. <laughs> you dog all right. All foursome, right? You dog all right. That's right, all Dave right, Letterman. <laughs> you bet. It's evil, Dave. Evil, no, Dave. Do you get aroused? My short game. Driving? My short game is tough. What is that, Dave? I was gonna say, does he get aroused when he's driving a golf cart over a bumpy road? Or <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> This is Dave Letterman, man. He's different on this show than he is. Stop it. He's uh, da downright oh, crazy. You've done David Letterman <laughs> show. Yeah. 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 Robert Blake. Robert. And he's done Oprah. I haven't done Oprah for crying. I see why. Yeah. <laughs> a big mess. What is it, Dave? I, I just, please. I just want to ask one, uh, Mr. Mack here a quick question, if I may. Now, have you you've been out in Hollywood right now? Right. Have you met Tom Cruise? Yeah, I, I, I met him, but yeah, I haven't met him. Because, you know, if I know for a fact Tom Cruise is not gay. Uh, we were alone in the steam room together for two hours, and uh, I rubbed his shoulders and, and, you know, gave him every opportunity to make a move, but, you know, he didn't come on to me once. <laughs> Dave Letterman, everybody. Oh, wow. So there you go. That's inside Hollywood information. There you go. <laughs> you and Tom Cruise are rubbing shoulders. Exactly. And he's not gay. That's he's good to know. Gay. Bernie, yeah. I just want, just want to ask you one question. Will we get to see your buttocks on tonight's episode? You'll get your ass kicked. Yeah. 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 We'll be back. Bye. It's the Fox Network, okay? <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Right, Dave? Evil Dave Letterman exactly. with us. Howard, can I be excused? I, I think I just wet my pants. I, I get excited sometimes, and I you know, I bet that fag Leno uh, won't hit you over the head with honesty like that. He's a liar, and, and, you know, I bet he wets his pants, too. Right. You're the only guy who admits it. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank Dave you. Letterman joining us today. Nice. <laughs> He's angry on this show. Doesn't get angry on his own show, just on this show. You know, yeah, he keeps up a facade. You know, I, I, wonder, I didn't get a chance to ask uh, Sharon something when she was here. You know, I heard that uh, Ozzy throws ham at broadcasters. Is that true? No. You well, she's, she's not here anymore. Yeah, but just a, little, just a little showbiz tip. You know, when you're in television, it, it's not a good idea to throw a ham at broadcasting executives because as broadcasters, I think we have a re responsibility to remind the American public that all Arab terrorists are not bad. <laughs> what is with the ham? I, I don't recall. <laughs> Remember I what we said? Remember what we said about sticking yeah, to our material? I'm Throwing depressed. in some ham. It, do, it just yours doesn't you know, work. I know there's something there. I Keep know. working on it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a new no ham rule in there. Yeah, no ham. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Every <laughs> joke with ham dies. Oh, Howard, funny. Is, is that is that movie from the Scorpion King? No, that's that's uh, not the Scorpion King. Uh, the Rock's uh, teats are actually bigger than Kelly Who's. Amazing. <laughs> Glad you said teats. You're allowed to say that. Yeah. Okay. All right. What movie is that from? Missed. I told you, that's Full from Metal Full Metal Jacket. Jacket. Why, One of doesn't, why doesn't Renona Ryder uh, steal herself a good movie? Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 Dave. Yeah, right. Continue yeah. the effort. What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. Dave. <laughs> my, my medication's running off. That's the first word he pronounced correctly. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. read that perfectly. <laughs> oh my God. Howard. Yes, Dave. I got a question I want to ask you. Sure. Why, why are all these kids uh, whining about being molested by priests? You know, in my day, you weren't considered a man until you performed oral on a clergyman. <laughs> Dave, you're a little low energy today. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I can't compete with Miss Cleo. You know, Howard. Uh oh, hold on a second. Yes, yes Dave. Dave. You, know, you know the one question I would like to ask Rosie O'Donnell if I ever had a chance. Did did she ever go to uh, Milton Burrow's funeral? Because I did, and there were so many people there that they all wanted to make sure the a hole was dead. 
You know. All right, anyway, so... Moving right along. Uh, a look at Dave, his it's lesbian... Not Rosie having the baby. Dave's lesbian parents. Uh, yeah, well, you know. your, your mother's uh, brother gave uh, birth to you, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you turned out fine. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm perfectly normal. <laughs> Just an average guy. Go ahead, Rob. All right. <laughs> yes, you, Dave. You know what I'm, I'm a big fan of, that show, The Bachelor. Yeah. I'd love to be The Bachelor in a series like that. But, but you know, instead of using single women, you know, I'd use dead children. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Dave is innovative. All right. Yeah. Dave is really on top of his game. Get the ratings up, Howard. Yes. You know Dave. who I got to tell you whose courage I really admire? It's, oh. it's the courage of Robert Blake because you know there are not too many uh, guys out there who that could stand up for their you know to their controlling wives the way he did. He's a hero to all married men. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's controversial. <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. Dave. I Letterman. don't know if this is a good follow up to that, but um, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> what? Come on, Dave. We're racing the clock here. All right. Can you recommend any good exercises to tighten the rectum? Sure. All right. I have a few. There you go. Clinch Anyway, uh, Nicole Kidman. Yep. You know, since that movie came out, I've been playing Spider-Man with the kids in the neighborhood, and I like to, you know, wear a mask and spray the children with uh, my secret web goo. Wonderful. <laughs> web goo. Yeah. Go for it, Dave. I want to thank Evil Dave Letterman for being here today. Thanks, thank Evil you Dave. Much, you were great again as you. Howard, you know, one quick thought here. Is it just me, or does when Gary talks, he sounds like he's got a mouthful of wet toilet paper? By the way, are the back of my pants wet? No. I gotta go get uh, Drew Barrymore's number from Jack Osborne. Mo Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Bernie Mac, thank you. See the final uh, episode of the Bernie Mac Show tonight at nine o'clock and five o'clock. <laughs> tonight at uh, nine on Fox. That's right. The Ozfest tour kicks off at U.S. on July sixth. For ticket information, Ozfest.com. Also want to thank. Um, I guess that's all I want to thank, quite frankly. Uh, tomorrow, big show. We'll talk about tickets going on sale tomorrow. There's a lot to tune in for. We'll see you then. Also. Um, Tommy Lee will be here. And Miss Howard Stern. Tomorrow. Yeah. I have to go call people with Arnold Schwarzenegger clips. Goodbye. <laughs>
<laughs> Dave Letterman joining us. How are you over there, buddy? <laughs> Everything I just, good? Yeah, you, I was just going to say, you mentioned something about uh, the food industry. You know, I like to eat food in aluminum foil, so when it uh, comes out on the other side, it's already wrapped, and I, you know, I never have to wipe. Wow. You don't talk like this on your show. <laughs> That's synergy for you. There's a lot of thought. How are you shoes on? What? The main thing I had shoes. Got these. This is exactly what I wore. Oh, yeah. do, do you ever look at a woman and say to yourself, damn, that bitch would make a great leather coat? Wow. Dave Letterman, you are. <laughs> right. As long as you have the shoes on, buddy. Yeah. By the way, Howard, have you seen Robert Plant lately? Uh, no. He looks like my 85-year-old grandmother. His his fans are throwing stool softeners on stage for the guy. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Everything's bowel humor with you. Yeah, he's Dave Letterman. When he's not on that show on CBS, oh he's a whole God. different guy. He's not a cerebral. Oh. No. Yeah. Was that yeah. was that one from Las Vegas? Huh? Yes. What, you know, I, I'd like to ask Suz, is there Suzanne? Was that yes, Suzanne. Right? I'd like to ask her a question. What what's the difference between a G spot and a golf ball? What is it? You know, a guy will actually search for the golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Vegas joke. Come on. Dave Letterman will be joining us this morning. Oh, that was not a Vegas joke. That's a Vegas joke. <laughs> yes, Frank, go ahead. You're on the air. Howard, can I ask you something? Could you, yes. have, the, could you have that black woman in the booth bring me some more coffee? I'd appreciate it. What do you mean, Robin? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Don't right. hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, like, yeah, Dave like, Letterman wants to I'd talk like, to you. Suzanne, I'd like to ask you a question. Did you yes. ever see my, my interview with Ted Koppel? Because, Did I hear uh, your interview with Ted Koppel? Right. Because, no, you know, that, that, that man has more bags under his eyes than a grocery store. All right. Yeah. And what's your point, Dave? I have no idea. He okay. had no point. All right. <laughs> Dave Letterman's a nice person. I know what the point is. Yeah. Well, Dave Letterman's here, and he's my friend. Well, Aren't you, Dave? I think exactly. That, I think that he's a nicer person than you. Oh, stop it. Hey, let's hear from a real comedian. Dave Letterman, yeah. you, you do that show. I know they rein you in because you're on uh, national television. Do a little t that top I ten. Got, I got a list for you. We couldn't use it on the show, but let's, let's bring it up here. All right, here goes right. Dave Letterman, top ten. What is All this? Right. The category from the home office, Howard. Uh, these are reasons now. Top ten reasons I stayed at CBS rather than go to ABC. Okay. Are you ready? Go ahead. Here we go. Top ten reasons I stayed at CBS rather than uh, go to ABC. Number ten, Les Moonves gives good oral. <laughs> I can't stand that know-it-all, Jew. Uh, let's oh, see, number goodness. nine. Number nine, my audience is a bunch of retards, and they won't be able to find me on another channel. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. <laughs> number eight, uh, if, if I would have uh, taken Ted Koppel's job, he would have crapped in his diaper. All right, you were caring about Ted exactly. Koppel. Yes. Uh, number seven, because who wants to be a millionaire sucks. Okay. You know, when I was having uh, my serious heart problem, I kept thinking one thing, Howard. Why couldn't this have happened to Regis? So these are your reasons for staying How with How many are we at now? Yeah. <laughs> this is going on a long time. Go ahead. Here we go. Number six, the gap in my teeth is bigger than ABC's overall network rating. Okay. Number five, CBS is paying me $31 million a year, and that's why. <laughs> Number four, I might not be able to get those A-list guests from Survivor anymore. <laughs> yeah. Number three, so Vinny Vivali uh, can keep kissing my ass. Okay. Number two, because I'm a big pussy and afraid to change. And the number one reason, Howard, I stayed at CBS rather than go to ABC, so you and me, Howard, can keep torturing Les Moonves. Well, there you go. All right, there you go. Yeah. See why he gets thirty something million dollars a year? No, thirty one. <laughs> thirty one. Thirty one million a year. Yeah. No, we love having you here. And, and, and uh, worth everything. Uh, uh, I, I tell you, that guy's an alien. I, I think Les Moon is. Why are you alien. making fun of Les? What did he do to you? The guy, the guy's why running the network. He's doing a great job. He's got the number one ratings. Yeah. Why are you always at odds with your boss? I don't know. You're what? so wild. You're such a wild man. He's a rebel. <laughs> Uh, well, you know what my uncle used to say, Howard. You know, give me a child who knows nothing about sex, and and you're, you know, you're giving me my next victim. <laughs> you're much wilder on this show than on your own. You're wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't know about Julian, but you're wild. Yeah. You know, Howard. <laughs> yes. I, I've been that. thinking about freezing myself when I die, like Ted Williams, and then you know, coming back when it's legal to date nine-year-olds. Wow. Yeah. Dave, you're really really yeah, yourself just, today. <laughs> that sort of brought that to mind. More of a therapy <laughs> session. Howard. Hey, boy, open my beer. <laughs> open my beer, boy. Hey, Howard. Hey, boy. Is this what those American West guys were drinking? 
What? <laughs> Is this what those American West guys were drinking? What are you talking about, Evil Dave? I don't know. <laughs> the pilot. The pilot. Oh, 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 the pilot said American West. Yeah. Okay, thanks, buddy. There you go. Okay. What are you saying? Is that, cherry? that wasn't on your sheet of paper, was it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Where do you find it anyway? I hope I never find that. Give some to Evil Dave. Yeah. Let me try that. Oh, no. On an IV drip. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it tastes like chicken, Howard. Hey, but I thought you didn't drink. Like chicken. Huh? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm always I'm pretending to drink. I guess he doesn't drink. I have to go soon. I have to go, you know, try to sell some Coke Al uh, uh, They They do say that really has alcohol in it, Dave. Yeah. All right, good. That's from Kansas City, right? Yeah. Howard. Oh, right, I just want to say one thing. You know, if I had one wish for America, I'd like to see them, you know, bring back the colored people's drinking fountain. <laughs> well, you're different on our show than you are on the it's late the night beer, show. okay? Okay, that's yeah. the wheat beer talk. That's the wheat beer from Kansas City, yeah. All right, All right. now, you're getting a little race here. Try to be funny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you're in the right direction. There you go. Right. Is that Frank Sinatra? Frank Sinatra hey, Jr. Howard, let me ask you something. You know, which has more plastic, a, a dashboard of a Honda or Pam Andelson's uh, chest? Pam Andelson. Pam Andelson. Pam Andelson. How many times do you go over these lines before you deliver them on the air? The wheat beer, buddy. Uh, Pam uh, Pam Andelson's a wheat beer. Pam Andelson's a flat slog. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Howard, can I just say something? What is it, Dave? You know, you know whenever I see Bryant Gumbel uh, put his uh, dirty, stinking paws on his white girlfriend, it, it just makes me want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> is... You know, Bryant you want a guy that's out of work. Uh, upset, uh, uh, why did you say he's got a problem? Because he's I getting married. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> Howard, I have an idea for this woman. You got any uh, strings that you can pull for me? Well, wait, Dave Letterman's got an idea. Go ahead, yeah. Dave. Uh, Ma'am, do you do you water ski? Because uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah. You know why Pam uh, Anderson can't water ski? Why? Her her legs uh, spread the minute her crotch gets wet. Yeah. But what is it? Got? I don't know. Oh, She's uh, to my idea. Oh boy. <laughs> I apologize. I am so sorry. Hey, I t I work in a. Wait a minute. Hold a second. You know, Drew was on the the Tonight Show. Is that what happened? No. 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 You, Dave, you wake up. You know, Jay Little may beat me in the ratings, but at least I know I can put a chin strap uh, on when I play football with my friends. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Drew. <laughs> yes, Evil Dead. By the way, did I mention that I have uh, Ted Williams' uh, nuts in my pocket? Oh, oh really? Yeah, I bought it for $50,000. <laughs> That's <laughs> only money. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Hey, Howard. That yeah. shouldn't happen in high school. Yes, Dave, Dave Letterman anymore. Do you, do you know how you uh, circumcise a hillbilly? How? You, you kick his sister in the jaw. <laughs> ah. Talk about football. So, you know, why don't I just turn the microphone over to you, Dave? You <laughs> you seem to be able to carry the show on your own. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What else you got to say? I don't know. Just go ahead. Say whatever you have to say. I'm serious. Spit it out. Don't hold right. it back. You know what me and uh, former uh, President Clinton have uh, something in common? What's that? You know, we both like to stick our cigars in strange places. Yeah. Yeah. And He's what else? What else? I'm finished. No, 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 no. Don't be done. I want more. I three years. I want more. Dave, do you think you have any thoughts that go together? I have no idea. I have no idea. And what else is on your mind? Seriously. No, I'm just, do you realize, I was thinking about this, do you realize Alan Iverson's mom said uh, more words in 30 seconds than uh, Fred has, uh, you know, since Jackie left? Fred what? Yeah. I was saying, do you realize that Fred Iverson's Did mom... Did jump Fred Iverson? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Fred Iverson's right. mom. Fred Iverson, uh, who's that? No, 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 no seriously. No wheat beer. <laughs> what is going on over there? I don't know. The wheat beer. wheat beer. You know, during the break, Dave told me that Pam Andelson has hepatitis K. Yeah. <laughs> we wheat beer. <laughs> Howard, you know what my fantasy is? What's that, Evil Dave? Well, you know, my fantasy is to tie up uh, Anna Karkova. Who? <laughs> oh? Anna Karkova? Anna Karkonova. Who? Uh, get some more wheat here. <laughs> Anna Karkova. Yeah. Strip her off her panties, pour honey on her crotch, and, and uh, let, you know, a jar of bees uh, make a, you know, a live, moaning uh, public wing between her legs. <laughs> How about a a public wing? wing? What did you just say? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dave, we went over this yesterday. Uh, and we had trouble with it yesterday. <laughs> it's so we crossed it off of you. That's trouble. Yeah, but he, he got it good. He got it right at the end. Yeah. Well, that was yesterday. A lot? What? I surely don't know what he said. Uh, you want to say it again? A pubic wig between her legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that can't be taken out of time. Family that's show. A public wing. Yeah. How did that turn into public wing? <laughs> I 
Yeah. 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 They're the best days. <laughs> Dave Letterman, everyone. Wait. Well, it's hard. He works at night. <laughs> Casey, get Dave a reading tutor. <laughs> we, were, uh, we were reading it together yesterday. So. You know what the problem is? Casey's tutoring Dave. That's right. I see where the problem is now. <laughs> it's not your fault, Dave. 89 is tutoring 81. I do. <laughs> Dave, I love your TV show. Thank I do. Very much. I do. And I think all of America does. Yeah. Even though they watch Jay Leno more. Somebody else Stop worked it. with him on that show. Yeah. It could be crusty. I don't know. Yeah. You but know, she's hot, you know? My girl from last night for the first time. What is that, Dave? Yeah, I, I got some anal from uh, my girlfriend last night for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. She didn't even wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you make Dave permanent, please, Howard? Yeah. He's very, you know, Dave has his own TV show. Right, Dave? And right. I know you can't come here all the time, but I appreciate that you do come when you do. I'm like a duck on ether. I'm goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of Artie and replace him with Dave. Oh, my can't have both? Just one? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Howard? Yes, Dave. <laughs> Dave Letterman, yes. How are you? I'd like to ask Anastasia a question. Oh, yes, dear. Yes, Anastasia, here's a question for you. Is yes. it just me, or would Jonathan uh, Lipnicki's movies work much better if he did his uh, scenes in the nude? What do you think? Oh, boy. You know, I, I personally, I think that maybe just a little loincloth there would be Wasn't helpful. it that you going to say that sometimes I go up to Japanese girls and say, Domo or Rigoto, Mr. Robo, and, and then I do a little robot dance, and, you know, then I flash my uh, my pee-pee to them. You know, I got, got me laid once. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say, Dan, again? Dan crowbarring his way into the conversation. I, yeah, yeah. I really want to know what man. he said again to them. What, how I do you get it? Say that Japanese and, and try and say Domo Arigato, Mr. Yeah. Roboto. <laughs> All right. Mr. Robo. Mr. Robo. Mr. Robo. There you go. All right, that's Dave Lennon. <laughs> I don't know. So, Dave, you know, uh, Anna Kornblatt. Uh, <laughs> so, Dave, why have you never had Anastasia on you? I don't know. I just, you know. Can I ask Anastasia a quick uh, yes, question? Yes, yes, yes. I just want to ask you, I understand you have uh, Crohn's disease, is that correct? Yes, I do. Does I that have mean a... you, you have particularly uh, stinky bowel uh, movements? <laughs> what? Oh, I, so you have a scar from that? Yes. Dave, yeah. do you want to say something nice? I was going to say, uh, w would she like to be my hoe bitch? <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I, I'm the Mac father. Oh, you think because she likes black would it, guys? Would it you? turn you on if I if I spoke black to you? <laughs> would, that, would that be a problem? Oh, my God. Go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, Dave. Come on, lay it God out. forbid. If I had yeah, a Jewish man, boyfriend, yeah. would I get Jewish jokes? Do it, Dave. I'm changing. Lex Moonvis is the biggest Jewish joke that I can think of. Oh, don't say that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know, I just, oh, we so got to have her on the show. You want to talk black to her or not? Yeah, well, actually, I just want to ask her, is, is P. Diddley as hot in person as he looks P. Like Diddley. Yeah. P. Diddley. Yeah, P. Diddy. Is that the guy's name? All right, listen, uh, let's play the game. Okay. And the stage is here. I think Anna stated, she, you know, I think she's hotter on the Internet, but she still turns me on. What? Yeah. What? I think she looks better on the Internet, but she still turns me on. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, God. Help us. Anna is younger. Yo, during a break, Dave Letterman was telling me how he got aroused when she was yeah. here. Really, Dave? That's right. I had to keep changing my glasses. You did. <laughs> you had to get a better look. steamed up. Dave, uh, Dave went up to Casey yeah. and apparently said that uh, I had to uh, adjust my shorts. You know, because I never <laughs> saw. My shirt and change you know what Dave showed me his arousal. Really? You know I never saw Dave. Next to my reading glasses. You know what's weird about Actually, Dave asked somebody for an, uh, an autograph during his show, it's and he was over here getting tons of autographs. Yeah, two autographs. <laughs> he met Drew Barrymore and uh, Meg Ryan, but he had to get out of stage autograph. My bed sheets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Howard, I was uh, I was out in the lobby after she left, and I was asking, I was telling her that I had a, a slang word for my penis. I, I call it. Blind Bob. Okay. Yeah. And how did she take to that? I don't know. She just walked away. <laughs> a trip to the Middle East is next on Reverend Jesse Jackson. I know that's not on your sheet of paper. Oh, it is. is. It is, buddy. Is it? Yeah. yeah. All right. It's right next to P. Diddley. Talk with the writers next week. P. Diddley. <laughs> yeah, you know it wasn't on the paper because he didn't make a mistake when he wrote Right. He never make mistakes on the paper, Robin. All right. Howard, Thank you. Yes. Can I ask this man a question very quickly? Sir, you're you're on a desert island. You and Howard are on a desert island, and you can only uh, f one person. Who would that be? Prince Albert or, or Prince William? All right. I I got, hold on. Hold on. This, like hold on. This. Hold on. There you go. Really read that again, Dave. No, no, no. no. I, just, you know, I just want to ask the guy that question. <laughs> read it again got... before you say. Right, it. If him and Howard are on a desert island, and he can only f one person, 
I'm just asking, who would that be, Prince Albert of, or Prince William? But if it's only him and Howard well, on I, the desert well, island. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> By the way, Evil Dave has Ted Williams' nuts in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's only money. How did he get those? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, boy. You know something, Howard? You know, I really like the smell of my own farts. Speaking of gas, you yeah. know, they, they smell like hot cabbage. I like to drop ass bombs on, on, on elevators. And you should see the, the looks of horror when I unleash my gas. It's like I have a, a concentration cap in my colon. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You know, like a concentration camp in my colon. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, can I just say that one thing about the, that 911? Uh, as horrible as 9, you know, September 11th was, it seemed at the time, mm -hmm. i got to say, all in all, this hasn't been such a bad year ratings wise. Uh, all right, Dave. Thank you. Well, yeah, looking at it from that perspective, I guess it's all right. I guess, I guess from your point of view, you've had a good year. Yeah. ABC. <laughs> you know, Howard, I just want to say one thing about that, that John TV or something. You know, I have a bird cage uh, I made, uh, you know, out of the skin from two dead hookers at home. But, but you know, it's weird. You know, there's no bird in the bird cage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why is this Denver, is going horribly? Why is Denver doing this, Howard? I think Dave Letterman wants us to give a few observations. Oh, okay. I just wanted to ask you folks. So if you tell me if this has ever happened to you as a kid, Howard. Did you ever go uh, into you know your mother's room and and get caught uh, sniffing her vibrator? No. Yeah. Or how about uh, have you ever you know were you ever having uh, sex with your brother and and your dad walked in and raped both of you uh, to teach you a lesson? I never asked no. Anastasia that question. Yeah, that never happened to me. All right, sure. Uh, the, uh, I don't have a brother. There you go. I was raped. I was raped on my own. <laughs> were you ever raped? You raped yourself. Were you ever raped by P. Diddley? Yeah. <laughs> J. Lo and Chris Judd are no more. The marriage is over. Yeah, P. Diddley gave it right to me in my public wig. <laughs> No, your public wing. Wing. And, and a cornblatt gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce on Thursday from... <laughs> you know, I, I wonder if this guy ever, uh, you know, let it, laid his uh, sack in a, in a bowl full of, uh, hot, you know, orange eye high C. I did that once, but... It... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering if... Hey, Dave, it's enough today. Yeah, We're right. done. We're done. It's done. Orange eye high C. Orange yeah. high high C. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, man. I can't see what that really says. Take a fourth in me, I'm done. Are you retos what it really says? You know what? It's, uh, it's lost in his notes. I can't see it. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have been in the makeup trailer with Tom Cruise. <laughs> Dave, you're done for the day. Right. You just relax. Uh, All right. Vern Troyer. You haven't said anything so funny in two hours. Back as mini me in this movie. Man, oh, man. <laughs> the guy's on helium. Oh, you okay. <laughs> <laughs> won't stop. <laughs> You won't stop, will you? <laughs> well, I want to thank Dave Letterman for stopping by. Thank, thank you, you Dave. Much, you want to try one more time? I just want to say one thing. You know, I, I just want to tell you that I think the American people are, are very forgiving. All Martha Stewart needs to do is show a, a little, you know, moose uh, knuckle, and everyone will love her again. <laughs> That's my advice to Martha. <laughs> you know, Dave, you ought to start doing stand-up again because oh. you've gotten a little rusty. I was I was standing up looking at Anastasia. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you, Dave Letterman. Yeah. Thank you, evil Dave Letterman. I'll watch you tonight on what? CBS? What time? Uh, geez, I don't know anymore. I'll be pulling out Blind Bob, I think. I don't know. We're not on tonight. Dave, aren't you on at 11.35? Yeah, 11.35, that's for sure. Why are you telling people you're not on? Huh? <laughs> I have no idea. Dave just had a string of things that didn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I don't know. How would put out Blind Bob? But, hey. It's less moonbus. <laughs> <laughs> Got me all worked up. All right. Thank you, Dave. And, and, and uh, everybody have a nice weekend. 95 X. Great, and Evil Dave is here. Good morning, Evil Dave. Good morning, Howard. How are you doing today? Dave Letterman with us. Doing great, I understand. Uh, your show is going strong. You're making $31 million a year, Dave. Yeah, well, you know, I'm darn proud of it, too. But Let me ask you something, Howard. What, what do you think smells worse, a possum killed three days ago on the New York Thruway or Hillary Clinton's pap smear? What do you think? Wow. <laughs> Dave coming out of the box. i got to tell you something, Dave. Uh, that'd be a rough one. 
Yeah. I don't know which would smell worse. I don't know. I'm just getting some ideas on the road today. Yeah. All right. We're going to fix these. By the way, Howard, I know Halloween is just around the corner, but aren't you wearing the disguise a week uh, too early? Oh, Dave. Oh, that was nice. Oh, hey, You're come on. Rip on I'm Nightmare. sorry. Dave, I put you on here. I let you say whatever you want, yeah. uh, like unlike that dopey show of yours, and, and this is how you repay me. Don't fight the hand. You know, I, I just want to say one thing here, Howard. Yeah. You know, I know uh, Katie Kirk is lonely. Do you think if I brought her a, you know, bought her a strap on, uh, she'd be kind enough to, you know, use it on me? Could be, Dave. Dave Letterman, by the way, joining us, Robin, this morning. Yeah. Oh, he's had some interesting thoughts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the one show where he can get him out. I mean, on his show, he's going to be very conservative. You know, I just want to say, I, no. by the way, I, I saw Johnny last month. and uh, Johnny Carson? Johnny Carson. No yeah. kidding. How is he? Uh, you know, he's still vertical. But, uh, you know, I saw Johnny, Ed, and I, uh, we went to uh, Tijuana. We mentioned about uh, surgery uh, once on a vacation. And we were so uh, ripped uh, on tequila and, uh, you know, crystal myth that... Uh, crystal uh, myth? Yeah, crystal myth. And uh, crystal Johnny, myth. Johnny uh, made Ed uh, bang a burl and, uh, you know, eat Alpo right out of an old uh, Mexican hooker's uh, taco. Yeah, just for a goof. What? We both laughed so hard we peed in our pants. Johnny was always peeing in his pants back then. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I was on his boat last month and he, uh, he dumped a body. You know, I didn't really? ask any questions. Yeah, well, you know, after all, he is the king of late night. <laughs> right. Well, Johnny tells you to dump a body, you tell him. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, you no. always wonder what he's doing on that phone. Dave Letterman, everybody, with us. That, that story sounds like a crystal myth. Yeah. <laughs> so you and Johnny to crystal myth. Crystal myth, yeah. And what was it, a burl you did? Yeah, banged a burl. <laughs> <laughs> God rest his soul. <laughs> hey, you want to get your mom and dad, Dave? You know, I, 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 have, a, I have a game for you. Dave Letterman. Yeah. Right? Who is it, we call it? Who is the biggest parasite? Yoko Ono or Antonio Banderas? All right. Let me think about that. Who is the biggest parasite? Madonna or Guy Ritchie? Well, oh, hold on. Let me You're think. Ahead. Yeah. Let me think. <laughs> what do you think? All right. Madonna or Guy Ritchie? I think Guy Ritchie is a bigger parasite than Madonna. Yeah. And I think uh, Yoko or, or uh, Yoko Ono or Yoko Ono or, or you know Antonio Banderas. I think Yoko Ono. Uh huh. Paul Schaefer or uh, Vivian Favalli? Vivian Favalli. Yeah. <laughs> Vinny's wife? Vinny. Yeah. Uh, Vinny Favalli. Oh, Vin Vinny Favalli. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Vinny Favalli. I said Vivian Favalli. <laughs> Man, get me a studio audience. I've got the makings of a game show here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is it? Vinny Favalli and who? Uh, Vinny Favalli and uh, or Paul Schaefer. Oh. What do you think? Vinny Favalli. <laughs> yeah. Vinny has no talent. <laughs> okay, Vivian Dave. Favalli is very talented. Yeah, who's Vivian Favalli? I have no idea. Wow. All right, Dave, it's great to have you here this morning. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, Dave. You know, I, I, had, a, I had a nasty little fantasy about Christopher Reeve the other night. I pushed him out of his uh, wheelchair and, uh, you know, set uh, my naked ass right on his uh, healthy finger, and I woke up in a, in a pool of his own mess. Wow. Huh? Yeah. That's a kinky dream. I got three words for Christopher Reeve. Get over it, buddy. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Dave Letterman, much edgier here than on his own show. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in the middle of a monologue, Dave. Sorry, sorry. It, nobody interrupts you when you're telling your two jokes. Yeah. No one craps in your iron lung. 